I'm Sarah and I have a very special guest here today. <laughs> Chef Tarek Taylor, Hello, all the way from Sweden. <laughs> it's your first time in Singapore, right? It's my first time in Singapore. It's beautiful, but very, very different from where I come. I'm sure. And you're about to have a very different experience here at Tiong Bahru Market. You know, we're going to get prepared for our mystery box challenge back in the Ooh. kitchen. <laughs> yeah, no breaking, right? I'm a bit nervous about the mystery box, to be honest, but it's, um, I'm ready for it. What oh catches your eye? Look, look at all the apples. This is my favorite food. A real ripe mango is one of the best things in life. Hello. Now these guys, I know. That I That's from my know. neighborhood. You know, we always serve the fish hole when we steam it here. What is this? <laughs> it looks weird, right? This is ginger flower. These. Uh, they look like beetroots. But these are sweet potatoes. This is what. Sweet potatoes look like here. We get long beetroots. Oh, they really? look exactly like this. Beetroots that look like yes, this? Yes, exactly. It's beautiful. We first have to head back to the kitchen and take on the mystery box challenge. Uh, You're ready for it? Yeah, I've got a pretty good sense now of uh, the ingredients that you have. So okay, I let's hope. go. One, One two, two, two three. and a half, three. Oh, that's, that's cheating. <laughs> okay, wow. This looks good. This does look good. Look, some seafood. That's nice. Red snapper, I mm -hmm. think. Very nice. Potatoes. Familiar for you. Lime. Familiar for me. I think we're ready to get going. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I don't know what Tarek is up to with his mystery box challenge, but I think we were both equally attracted to this super fresh red snapper right here. I think I'm gonna take my inspiration from that as well as the chili, because I love spicy food. So I'm gonna make a sort of crumbed fish with a potato and chili saute. Almost like an Asian fish and chips, if you know what I mean. Okay, so this is my plan of action. So I'm going to cook some really nice and crisp hash browns to go as a base for this dish. And then on top of that, we've got the red snapper. And then I'm going to make sort of a cold sauce made out of mangoes. It's going to be lime, it's going to be chilies, and I'll put a bit of my heritage in there as well. Just a tiny, tiny hint of cinnamon and some of these beautiful coriander seeds. The first time I came across real spicy food was when I went to the Seychelles Islands and I stayed there for about six months. Being 18 years old and being confronted with a whole new concept of cooking and eating and, you know, with new flavors and uh, just the new environment and everything really inspired me. And I brought that back with me and started to incorporate that into my food. stir-fry of potato and fresh chilli. It has flavours from Singapore where I grew up and some inspiration from the UK where I went to school so it's kind of all of me in a plate. Fish and chips were kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. 2am fish and chip runs, yeah very common. <laughs> I found out that every city has their own favourite. So in Glasgow in Scotland, people have chips and gravy, which sounds weird, but it's really nice. And of course, the classic salt and vinegar and chips. Oh, there you, there you go. <laughs> I think yours look absolutely amazing. That is so beautiful. It looks so fresh. Hmm? Can I taste it? Absolutely, let's switch. Okay. It'll be easier. Mmm! That's lovely. I'm loving this. Well, I'm loving this and I hope you enjoyed your day in Singapore out of the market and cooking with the mystery box. Oh, I had an amazing time. Come back soon. 